ati nukua sai nye mfaru pa chano yenyu ye hot news 24 apo tichikupai nyaya eriku pisa nyaya eriku neta e, apo kuni nyaya eriku neta ye mkuru wenyika hawa emason mnangagwa hawa waka gaza ngana wavo e, david kudakwashe mnangagwa za deputy finance minister uye waka gaza shakari mzukuru wavo e, anonzi tongai mnangagwa pa u deputy minister shakari nyaya ii ya konzeresa e, mazimbabwe nzi unyangwe zao asina kushinga zekuti wanga kwa nise kuita action vara tita kusafara through za wari kutawura pa social media platforms e, nyaya ii ili kuneta ni kuti wa mnangagwa wari kunzi wa kutora zimbabwe se nyika ya avo tiri ipa nyaya iyo zakare e, wa mnangagwa e, wajivundwa ni ima journalist kuti Muno zoona se kuti magadha munu wepa mnangagwa Pazu garo sakadai e, Waka pindura wakati ini Adina basa nazo e, e, Waka taura sakare Waka dozo who are not happy with my cabinet e, Will appoint their own when they become president e, Waka taura mashuku aya Wachi ita senge waru kusotesa ma Zimbabweans Wachi irati za kuti ma Zimbabweans Ana swanga wa ita wa mnangagwa e, He reappointed some underperforming ministers from his previous cabinet and also appointed his son and nephew to high ranking position. Zimbabwean President Emerson Mnangagwa has announced a new cabinet appointing some of his family members to high ranking positions. Mnangagwa appointed his son Kulakwashi David Mnangagwa as deputy finance minister. Kulakwashi Mnangagwa is a ZANP of youth quota MP in the Midland province. The youth quota is made up of 10 candidates aged 21 to 35 chosen by proportional representation based on, on the constituent votes. Mnangagwa also appointed his nephew, Tongai Mnangagwa, uh, as the deputy minister of tourism. Controversial minister, Barbara Rodzi, was appointed minister of tourism. She caused a stir in June when she held insults at a senior police officer for investigating ZANPF activists, which have been retained as the country's finance minister. The former Oxford University professor is dismally failed to revive the country's economy as the Zimbabwe dollar has continued to weaken and inflation has reached triple digits. Kesti Coventry has been reappointed as the country's sports minister despite being among the most underperforming under ministers. During a five year as cabinet minister in 2020, Zimbabwe was banned from hosting international soccer games by the Confederation of African Football because of substandard stadiums. In 2022, Zimbabwe was banned for 18 months by FIFA football's governing board over government interference in the Zimbabwe Football Association, ZIFA. I have reappointed Coventry because I am happy with their performance. Whoever was not impressed by A can appoint someone else when they become president. Addressing General State House, Mnangagwa, when asked why he was he has reappointed Coventry, said he was happy with how she has performed in the government. 